hi all welcome to our channel so today we are going to see what is access cross site scripting attack so how to prevent our spring boot application this kind of attacks so what is uh, cross site script attack so it is uh, one kind of security vulnerability attacks cross site script attack is a type of injection we need to they the the hacker will push the malicious script to the injector in other ways so it is uh, crash our application uh, like uh, so it is kind of so uh, suppose we need to pass our input in paddy so we need to instead of the name so we are uh, passing some malicious uh, script so maybe it will be passing some collapse so it's kind of uh, this kind of attacks the cross site script attack so how to prevent our spring boot application those kind of uh, attack so let's get started so let me let me jump in our code yeah <coughs> yeah so here is already we developed a single spring boot application so yeah let me it is and a spring boot application so yeah uh, so we are using um, dependency only using web and lumbug and json so other than uh, no, no not specific used to inject that uh, inject the cross site scripting attack so what will uh, do here actually so we need to scanning every api request input so every api request input so we need to uh, sanitize every api uh, input body and request mapping and the path variable so we need to scanning mm, every input so if suppose we need to found any vulnerability so at vulnerable so some kind of different variables some kind of uh, scripting attacks or some kind of bad words so we need to throw the error so it kind of something will be happened uh in our uh, api so we need to send uh, the 400 so 500 uh, error so how to uh, do that means they will let me show you the code so it is simple uh, spring boot application so we are using the simple three controller okay so here we are using actually to get get uh, mapping so one is post mapping so why we added a uh, uh, three endpoints so we need to test so passing some vulnerability input in the uh, api rest endpoint so we, so how to capture so how to product in spring boot our application that is what uh, we will say in this video so here is nothing but symbol get api so we need to pass is a path variable it is a request mapping so it is kind of uh, request body uh, so three ways we how to handle that that kind of cross site scripting attacks so how to handle us so before so we are using uh, the filter so everyone know the filters so how uh, so how to so when we click the request coming from our uh, controller so first they invoke the filter so filter filter is success then only will allow to move to our uh, controller that is what uh, our dispatcher server will uh, doing like that so every request comes in there in the tomcat so tomcat first will send the request into filter the filter is validated okay everything is fine then only will move to our controller that is what uh, the process will happening so in this case we are using the filter so filter means every every api request will uh, coming uh, first will coming the filter the filter will pass then only will go to controller so uh, we uh, we here we need to use uh, so our uh, apply the logic so we we vanitize so sorry we sanitize our uh, api input in this filter logic okay so here here we see the symbol filter so we so here is the two filter so every request will be handled coming from every api request will be handled from the two filter method so here one mode uh, wrapper class we are using the request wrapper so what is the purpose of the request wrapper so it is uh, to so we need to fetch the user input right so then that purpose of we, we are using the uh, http serverless request wrapper so here this uh, http serverless uh, request wrapper so provided the um, tomcat so we have uh, this we implemented 
in this HTTP extended the HTTP wrapper class we need to oh, get the input from our uh, customized format so in this case uh, what will do now request mapper means so every request will comes into the filter so here we are using the normal when we are not using the HTTP request so we the, the whatever the HTTP request we coming so we need to passing the request wrapper request wrapper is our wrapper class here is passing the HTTP record here what will do means so we'll fetch the yes or uh, will fetch the user input into converter into the uh, string format so nothing but is a, this, this is a constructor so here only we'll be getting the original HTTP records here we created the string builder so in this uh, request start get input stream so it is like the um, so what are the HTTP input is coming from the REST API so we'll be fetching into the appended in the string uh, string builder and finally will store in the body string so what is the agenda of the, this class means to convert to the our uh, whatever the api in response into into convert into the strings okay so what is the purpose of that word so we are using the different way so it is kind of um, so here is says actually <coughs> this HTTP parameter why we need to means so this is morely used for the coming from the resp response into the body the body input converter interesting so why because so another way is to use some sometimes the est est end point to passing the value through the parameter so in this case also we need to get the input parameter to here is sanitize sanitize nothing but is to validate the filter so here we provided the some pattern okay so this pattern will some provided so those kind of value only will allowed okay so other than some value will coming th uh, from uh, the input so throw the error it is uh, basic uh, agenda is to allow some specific character like that here only so a to is that have a letter valid those kind of whatever the puzzle character will support it we need to add then only uh, our filter will skip it so if pattern matches suppose our input is not matching our pattern so suppose we provided the pattern is not uh, suppose ang the bracket the script tag is uh, open angular bracket uh, end angular bracket not supported so you uh, suppose our input is coming from like that open angular and uh, so it will throw the error so something will be happen in our input so the same way we need to using the get path variable this is query param this is a path variable validation so will be happen so we need to sanitize our input okay so uh, next we'll go to filter so here the filter will get actually input so in this case also will uh, return so here actually we need to request mapping so here also we need the access path variable attack the request mapper validate uh, two things will do one will the body input body converter into string another one is his path variable coming any path variable uh, sorry in any request param coming in the api so uh, when it is the request parameter is valid or not those kind of uh, task will done uh, this request mapper so after that uh, path variable path variable is uh, request url so if you calling the requ uh, request mapper dot get request url so we'll get the original entire role so this is also will be valid url so here is checking the valid url or not so it is basic very well to set the post the found is will throw the error same way is a response output same thing with get body the get body nothing but is a, a, a api input body the post mapping we are using some uh, input in the body right so the body is converted into string why because string a single easily will check with the uh, valid the course kind of input or not, not. Uh, present uh, easily will compare so pattern is matching or not so here is everything will pass so we'll move to our uh, controller otherwise we'll uh, return to our error okay so here we one more uh, changes are suppose somewhere we are using so multiple language support sometimes you added some bad words like that so uh, during our uh, languages ca converted into english to spanish or french so suppose uh, um, in this case so um, oh maybe it will be something is bad word will be it possible to come here how to handle means here i we need to create the application properties file 
sorry yaml file so here we need to skip that so some not good word so we need to skip it to like that bad word so something exercise i think we need to so we need to specify like that so those kind of word is present in the input so in this case also we need to throw the error okay so it is basically will uh, evaluate so validate our uh, rest api uh, inputs that's purpose so everything will clear then only will allowed okay so here we are using the own utility class the utility class will be validate so based on our we are using two kind of validation the pattern validation as well as the bad words like skip words something different words will need to skip, skip but okay so let me go to demonstrate okay so our application is port running in 8090 so i am in open so it is actually already shown we are using three rest endpoint so first we will check with the uh, hello path variable okay so in hello and message okay so here is we are hello is valid security okay dollar okay so yeah it will be so it's a path variable security so it is whatever uh, whatever the ap is success 200 so why because it is uh, this is the input uh, from coming from rest ap this is valid suppose in this case we are using some passing some script attack script attack means in this case also yeah in this case uh, wait uh, suppose it delta so something what is this this delta character is not present so in this case this character is not provided delta so you are throwing the error let me open our console so here you are throwing error so here we will showing actually so what is the request so in debugging purpose i added the what is the request input param so in this case we added actually this is request param so right so it is uh, valid hello valid character so where in this invalid character found in this value we need to sanitize the security one to the delta is found so in this case if the exercise attack will happen so error so we need to throw like that so why so invalid character present in input so in this case we have throw the access attack error so we need to throw so we provide the validate valid provider so in, the, in this case we will access this is a path variable that is actually like that this is a request param or the welcome message this is second use case we say same thing will passing the message mm, same similar way so in this case everything will success so we will need provide so you suppose it will provide the mm, delta something not present so will be coming through so strong error similar way so it will be invalid invalid character response so invalid character is found so request is failed so enter invalid character is found so something uh, will be throw the error so if you passing original value will hit the controller success 200 so another one important is actually is your body so this body value so it is kind of test so we are employee so employee id name passing and address so in this case we are using the uh, test post api so we are passing something okay so in this case i will roll so is this post call is successful so everything will be provided valid so it will be success everything so in this case i provided some script attack so in this case i need to uh, provide some this script passing so what will do our case is a post method is converted into the entire post body is converted into the string uh, using the single string using the request mapper class okay in this case we are passing like that so we'll be throwing the internal error let me check in console check error so here is found some character so valid character invalid character is found like that so in un undetermined undetermined main string is uh, one or so character 53 to line number 4 so an undetermined character will, will be coming like that okay so this case we also using same thing we are using the bad words bad words suppose yeah, is a force call is success suppose it's a bad call so already i explained in controller here we are passing list of words need to skip so suppose i need to bad scared some kind of script loads like that we need to provide so we need to skip 
like that so like the bad words so the in this case actually it is uh, skipping so to throw the error we can yeah uh, like there you go throw the error so something xss attack is found so we have handled two different way oh first way this is the first way first way means if any other vulnerability character or some unwanted character coming to uh, break the uh, api another way is uh, suppose if any other vulnerability character or bad words so we need to simply ignore remove that variable and process the two ways we need to handle this situation but uh, my suggestion is uh, going to break so that we need to uh, analyze uh, so we need to uh, more secure way so what the why breaking the api so that what we need clearly understand so any other attack is coming so otherwise uh, something will be a misunderstanding like that we need to clearly understand so why ip is breaking so this approach in my perspective is okay so this is also will be same thing like i like the is yeah it is a simple way to protecting our uh, spring boot applications uh <coughs> uh in the xss attack so i have up, uh, i have updated so uploaded uh, in github uh, github already so i attached the github uh, url in the description if you want then you can use it thank you guys